Morning everybody, John from Watertech Solo Boss. Um, so this is the airport job. So we we're cleaning the undercover car park area. So let's have a look. So what we did is we did all the curbing for free. So we cleaned up all the curbing, cleaned up all these islands. All we were here to do was to do the shade sails, all the structure, all the metal. So took two days, two guys. We had a, a 50 boom, 51 foot boom in here, just so we can get above these shade sails, clean all the roofs. So I think that that stretch there is about 80, 85 meters long. So they're quite long. There's over a hundred car bays in here. So what we're doing today is day three. We're doing the line marking. So we've got the line marker in the trailer. So that's my original trailer. You can see all the plumbing still coming through the box when we had the soft wash in there. But um, yeah, all we're doing is the car park lines today. We're doing that double crossing over there, which is red and white. So I might spray out the red this morning and then do the white a little bit later. Wash the gun. Things that you can't see when you want to do a job like this is all the dripping, so all the dew coming off the roof, which once the sun comes up should dry out pretty fast. So that is something that I didn't think about. Roof space. So we've got this to do, so we might just blow this off, spray out all the red, um, get some hats over here, some guide traffic in around. We'll probably try and do one, two, three bays first off, let that dry, and then we'll do those two, and then we'll do it the other way around. We'll do the three whites, and then we'll do the two whites last. So we'll do three at a time, let it dry. As we go over here, so we put um, silt barriers down all the waterways we we did flush out we did flush out all the car park so this is just some of the aftermath with all the all the dirt and debris that's what we picked up there's a couple more piles down there pile 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 there's heaps of it around all the water was washing down into this drain here so there was just loads of it sitting on that drain. So all the diverters have been pushed over side because we just flushed out and cleaned out the drain after we picked everything up. We did all the curbing down through here to make it nice and neat and tidy. Um, had the silt barrier underneath the drain either then just to stop any overflow so kind of damn it up on one end as you can see the piles down the back here there's another pile another pile of those heaps of rubbish coming out of here seal barrier again two piles and then um, so we're just gonna have to wait for the lines this is the drips once that sun pops his head over, it shouldn't take too long. Um, there's little areas we could do that are not exposed, like this one here. We can knock out that one there. So we can do our test runs on there. And then down here, there's a couple of areas that we could do. Get the blower out blow it all out. You've got 
got the signs each side there and there that we're going to spray so we could just do that but this is a very profitable job um, we had to close down the car park so it's I worked it out with the bays that are in here it's costing eight thousand dollars a day to shut this down so it is a lot of money that they're losing to do the maintenance but they haven't done maintenance since 2009 so when they first built it so nothing's been done ever since then um, so they just have to do what they have to do but at the end of the day it's pretty good good for me good you know this is we had cars in here that didn't listen didn't didn't want to um see the sign so they just drove in so we just worked around the cars and stuff so we've lost two more since we've washed it down so we, there was a bmw down there beside those two we've got that one there and then we had a ute here so you can see the curving is not finished because he had his tire just there and the car overhanging so we just did whatever we could reach and we got the line all cleaned off so we'll come through and just probably blow that over the edge there tire marks here and there you know, how clean those roofs are nice and clean all right, so we're doing a little bit of line marking. I'll get the tripod and spray this side, but I need to get that side done because um, it's in the sun. So I want that to dry first because this stuff is going to take a lot longer to dry out. So the idea is, um, got the hats there. The cars can still come in and out while we're working, but we'll get these three done and it'll be the opposite when we do the white. We'll do those two first and then we'll do these three last. That way you can keep the flow of traffic going. There's, there's nothing really coming out of here at the moment, so we can block this side off longer, but there's everything going in because it's the morning. So that's the side we really want to work on. Um, but we will have to wait for the red to dry out before we even tackle the white. But by the time we do that, there's going to be full sun on this zebra crossing. So what we did is we taped out both sides with masking tape taped out both sides sprayed up to it what we'll have to do when we do the white is we'll tape down the middle so we get a nice clean cut line like we do on the ends here see how we get a nice clean cut line so we'll get that on the white by taping down each side so we have to make sure the red is dry dry before we even do that <clears throat> But what we did is we sprayed a base coat and then we put our glass beads which are in that bag there spread the glass beads right over the top and then we come through and we put another coat over top of that so then you got a bit of grip in your paint um and then we just gotta let it dry shouldn't take that long to dry but it is pretty thick in sections it's um kind of skimming up now so by the time it heats up, it should be pretty good. So in this video, you can see me adjusting the height of my tip, trying to get the perfect um, size of the lines to match up. So we're just going over and over to get the same size. So you would have seen me in the, line, in the video there, I was playing with the height gauge, trying to get the lines at the right consistency of the previous person that painted them. Um, some of them were all flared out and stuff like that, but I think we did pretty good for, we haven't done lines for six months. So let's have a look. Did a couple of whoopsies, but um, that's all neat and tidy for a spray finish. We flared out that one a little bit, but that's not a big one. We got that one pretty close. We did that all the way out. We added this little line here. 
So we got over here, we did a little line there, um, and then we had a little blow out here. I got trigger happy and a little bit there, but other than that, it's pretty pretty solid for a spray finish. That's um, kind of what you'll get. You'll get better as you go along, but I haven't done lines in six months, so I've got my old boss down the end there. He's spraying on his machine. So uh, we'll get all these lines smashed out. I'll do a bit of time lapse for you guys. Looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna do a line on the outside. Uh, there you can see a faint line. There's Danny over there working his lines. He doesn't know I'm filming him. He'll watch the video later. He watches all my videos. Um, get up around here. Get this curve done, get the top of the line done, and come back into these bays, and then we'll work on these long lines last. So you can see at the start, I go backwards and forwards, just to line up that line before I start, just to make sure if I walk up that one, a foot or two foot, I got it nice and straight before I spray it. And you see, I, can just, I just rock backwards and forwards right at the start, just to get it nice and straight. So then it looks really nice once it's all done. So this is the last of the lines on the airport and then we're going to head over and do a quote for another body corporate for a bit of line marking. Just out here doing a quote for a body corporate. Um, so we've got the little bay there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve lines. And then these bays here. six um, visitor bays they want done and we got 11 of these pads so we'll put a number on the end it'd be like 10 B so we'll have to put B on the back of it um, probably don't want to do it on the pavement we'll just do it on the driveway um, nice easy job nothing too hard and dry really quickly yeah that's pretty much it for today i had a uh, big line marking job at the airport and then quoting this one um yeah so catches on the next one